We haven't had this much rain. I don't even know how long. This is crazy. Well, today we are in a marina, in the Conk Inn Marina in Marsh Harbour. It's really ramping up now. Yeah. Ooh wee! It's blowing, isn't it? 38, 39, 40. I'm Natalie and this is James and this is our home, Zephyr. We have been sailing around the world for the past four years and now we have got a couple of stowaways on board. Meet Flint and Kira, two puppy Weimariners that are joining the adventure. Subscribe and welcome to our channel, Sailing Zephyr. As we soak up the sunshine on this beautiful beach day in Marsh Harbour, there's a sense of peace mingled with a hint of caution in the air. While we'd love to believe this perfect weather will last, experience tells us otherwise. We are well aware it's just the calm before the storm. All right, guys, we're here in Marsh Harbor because we got a big windstorm coming in two days, but it looks like we're getting a preview. We got a huge thunderstorm coming through at the moment. There's a bit of wind in it, maybe 20 knots, but a lot of rain and thunder lighting. Look at this. Woo! Hope everyone's gonna hold. We haven't had this much rain, I don't even know how long. This is crazy. The good thing is there's not much wind in it. Just a lot of rain. So everybody seems to be holding perfect. Riding out those relentless storms at anchor took its toll draining our batteries to a mere 5%. With no sunny days in sight, we couldn't make water or charge anything. The looming threat of another big storm pushed us to make a tough call. We decided to head to Conk Inn Marina in Marsh Harbour. Despite our tight budget and usual self-sufficiency, we knew we needed the help. And boy, were we grateful for the relief it brought. Setting the boat up at a dock for a storm is no small feat. Meet Avery, the dock master who helps us with all of our lines and securing Zephyr in preparation for the blow. Ah, oh, brother. Ready? Yep. Oh! Too much pressure. <laughs> Too much pressure. I do too. Right, let's try one more breath. Yeah. I feel you got it on third time. Third time? Yeah. Oh. I didn't think I'd better switch to the hook. Yeah, I got the hook. <laughs> <laughs> the storm we are expecting is a 40 nodder with gusts into the 45s and 48s. So it's a pretty crazy one. Hence why setting up the lines with backup lines and multiple springers is a lengthy process. All right, guys, we are here at the Conk Marina in Marsh Harbor. First marina in ages. We're going to go check in. It's dark, I know, but oh my gosh, they have a pool. We'll be swimming in that. Let's check in. So that's it. Checked in. That guy was a legend. It's so easy here. Such a nice marina. The pool, I can't stop looking at the pool. 
They got everything, ice, fuel, showers, laundry, you name it. They got an amazing restaurant. They're so helpful. And as you can see, it's super dark. Back to the boat, time for dinner. All checked in, good to go. Well, today we are in a marina. We have come in here because there's a big storm brewing and our power is so low that everything's starting to kind of fail. So we figured let's come in during the worst of the uh, blow and charge up our batteries at the same time because we knew there wasn't going to be much sun today. It's going to be overcast, a lot of rain and all that kind of stuff. And I don't think our batteries can take another beating. We are now at 35, 35. 35%. So we're slowly building. We came in last night. It was pretty late. And by the time we got tied up and done, it was it just got dark. So we didn't film anymore, but everybody here was so helpful. Anyway, today's the next day. We've got another night here in the marina. We're gonna take the dogs to this little beach that they have, let them run. And then we're gonna get stuck in with cleaning because that's what we do at the marinas. <laughs> we never enjoy a marina, do we? We never enjoy a marina. We're always like, go, go, go. So that's what, that's what's gonna happen you today. You got power, you got water, you just. I know. Yeah. But it's just so good to know that those batteries are just being charged. Uh, and hot showers. Oh yeah, and I had a hot shower yesterday <laughs> for the first time ever. Because it's cold here in the Abacos. Yeah, it is. And, um, oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Awesome. And the facilities here are so nice. Okay, these guys are ready to go. Look at them. Look at Flutia Kira. It's... Looks like a hobo boat. Yeah. Uh, oh, Flint, get out! Flint, get back! Gosh, tell me about it. Not the smallest in length. There's some 39s, no. but definitely this. I feel like the the worst kept at the moment. We haven't been in a marina in so long, so like no fresh water, no shore power. So it's just been not able to clean. A bit neglected, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely doesn't look as pristine as some of these others. This is. And probably the nicest marina I think we have ever stayed in in five years of traveling. The docks are superb. The dock masters and dock hands are so good. They've got a beautiful restaurant called Snappers. Um, if you want to charter a boat, there's charter companies here. They got a pool. They've got laundry facilities, ice, diesel, you name it. It's really ramping up now. Yeah. Ooh wee. All right, it's officially turned north now. Blowing like a hoolie. It's blowing, isn't it? By that afternoon, the storm is raging with a constant wind speed of 30 knots. But the worst is yet to hit. Expected, of course, in the middle of the night. We're in the middle of the storm now. Wind has switched from westerly to full northerly now. So now we're getting it on the beam. James was out there helping out um, some boats. The dock masters here are the best we've ever seen. Like they're just so on top of it. Absolutely incredible. Like I don't think anywhere was, this, was there this much level of care. They're just going around like I want to say like every 15 minutes checking on the boats they're all out and about checking on all the boats it's pretty amazing um, so yeah incredible really I feel very safe in this marina well it gives us time to 
get stuff done, doesn't it? Like it work. It sure does. There's so much admin stuff that we don't do, and I know. Just stuff that gets put by the wayside because you're always moving, isn't it? So. Yeah. It's incredible how much swell we're getting in such small fetch, um, just in all this area in Marsh Harbour. But um, yeah, it's a little bit bumpy, so I think we're all gonna relax. Kira is already asleep, as you can see, plenty. Flinty's settling down. So anyway. I'm gonna cook some lobster. Oh yeah, James is cooking lobbies tonight, the lobbies that we caught. Maybe he can show you all that if it's not too late. Thirty-six again. Oh, that's a good one. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. So it's about midnight. I'm gonna go do a line check. We've been blowing uh, anywhere between 30 to, I think we had topped out at 43 here. So, and we're getting it on the beam. So I'm just gonna go have a quick check of the lines. So let's go have a look. All the lines look okay, and yeah, the boat's, boat is holding just fine. It's been pretty windy. We're kind of like on a permanent lean because the wind is on the beam. We're out of the marina tomorrow. I know. I can see how people get stuck in marinas because oh, yeah. it's so comfortable, isn't it? But it then, really yeah, it really is so comfortable. And it's been such a great spot to hide out from this wind. Yeah. and be protected and not have to worry about, you know, us dragging, other people dragging. It's been great. All right. Yeah, let's be clear. It's not that we wouldn't have been able to be fine out at anchor because lots of boats were and we've ridden out many a storms like that. The harbor's protected. Um, it was more just that we wanted to make things easier on ourselves for, the, for, for this time. Um, Mainly just because we had a lot of issues, our power's been so low, and um, we're running low on water, and... Um, we couldn't make water because could, of the power. We couldn't make water because of the power, plus the bay is really silty now from the storm. So, um, you know, we... Is, for anybody that's followed our channel knows that we will always, always go to anchor. We've we can very rarely ever afford a marina, and most of the time it's those free docks or something like that. Um, so, you know, for the first time in a long time, we decided to dip into the kitty and, um, you know, just make it a little easier on ourselves for once. So, um, as James said, suffer a little less. So, yeah, as I said, yeah, suffer a little less, um, and, uh, you know, come out of this storm feeling refreshed instead of exhausted, ready for more adventures and exploration. Anyways, we're going to eat. Let's get cracking. So good. Such a simple one to do on the boat. It is. It is. Those yeah. are the books from the book swap and James. Well, it's bread day here in Conkin Marina. I just got you some coconut bread. Oh my god! What? It's free? Free. So. What did? How every does now it work? and then they have uh, they come around and they do uh, a free loaf of bread to anybody that's around. That is so lovely. And she's like, I got all these different breads. And I remember you wanted coconut bread the other day. Yeah. So I got you some coconut bread. Let's have some. And Let's she try. said it's it's not sliced yet, but she says it's wonderful if you toast it. And um, it's all made locally. Boom. Let's have it. Okay. Time to fill up the water tanks, which haven't been full for 
quite a while. All right. Okay, that's one tank filled, the front one. And now on to the back one. No, <laughs> that key is so valuable. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know what? I saw this person. They had a 3D printer and they, they printed made one of those. Yeah, because they lost it and they made one of these. And I was like, that is a great idea. It is a great idea. Once our tanks are full, our batteries too, it's time to do a real quick clean of the cockpit and time to cast the lines and head back to anchor. Well, the luxury of the marina has ended. Now we're back at anchor. <laughs> yeah. James putting the snubber on. If you'd like to be a part of the journey and become a patron, go to the link you see here on the screen. Another way you can support us is by hitting that subscribe button.